Hello there, and welcome to my channel, Novice Modeling and the Midlife Crisis. My name's Andy, and I'm just going to do you a quick review on this Smur High Tech Supermarine Spitfire Mark VB, number 0087 in 172 scale. Now, I've taken this from my collection of 33 Spitfires that I have ready to build. Um, I have this many as I need to learn basically the basics of modeling and more importantly, how to paint. Now, if you want to check out the rest of my collection, there's a link in the description below. Anyway, let's get on with this uh, what's in the box review. So, as you can see on the back, we've got some uh, camouflage. <laughs> we've, got, we've got some camouflage uh, details here and some ideas on how we can actually paint the uh, model and it gives us some interesting color variations here it says blue green h23 i think this is a hella one h28 light gray h30 dark green and h27 sea gray i'm going to be using tamiya paint so i'm pretty much going to have to go with whatever i can get my hands on anyway let's see what's in the box Now, as per usual, if you're uh, familiar with these little reviews that I do, I'm going to read the blurb or the historical uh, document on the instructions. So, a brief history. The British fighter Supermarine Spitfire ranked amongst the best and most successful as well as the most famous aircraft in the Second World War. The author of Spitfire, the author of Spitfire, the, oh, well, the author of Spitfire, don't know, was the widely known designer Reginald J. Mitchell. He was the designer, not the author. Okay. The first prototype of this famous Spitfire, serial number 5054, took off on March 5th, 1936 for the first time. The first production machine, SER number K9787, took off on May the 12th, 1938 for the first time. And the first British squadron to be supplied with a Spitfire, the 19th squadron in Duxford received their first machine, Serial number K9789 on August the 4th, 1938. Spitfire Mark V was introduced in the period 1941-42 to and was manufactured in three basic versions. Mark V-A armed with eight 7.7mm Browning machine guns. A total of 94 machines were built. Mark V-B armed with two 20mm cannons and four 7.7mm Browning machine guns. A total of 3,923 machines were built. <clears throat> and Mark 5C, with a so-called universal wing allowing to install either cannons or two 130 kilogram bombs. The machine had a central rack for a 227 kilogram bomb or an additional fuel tank. That was the reason why the undercarriage was reinforced and moved forward. A total of 2,447 machines were built. The kit by Smur represents the Spitfire Mark V B version, which successfully operated, e.g. on Malta, where Spitfires went into action for the first time outside Europe. I'm pretty sure that Malta's in Europe, but we'll let that one go. Okay, so the instructions are quite detailed, actually. I like detailed instructions. I don't like it when they put everything together in four or five little boxes i mean i'm a novice at this so i need, kind of need all the help and encouragement i can get um on the back page we have the camouflage markings for a clipped wing spitfire for squadron raf vlaklav bergman hmm. i think yeah this is a check free um a free check unit within the raf and then we have this one, which is Spitfire Mark VC Trop 4. And this is the 5th Fighter Squadron, 52, 50 second, 50 second, it says 52th wing, US Air Force, 1942 Tunis. I thought I get that wrong. Okay, so let's have a look at the bits. <clears throat> In this first bag, we've got what appears to be three different sets of markings yeah we've got three different lots of numbers there one which is american and we have british and we have like i said we've got check markings for a free friend free check unit within the raf 
we have a three piece canopy and we've got some photo etch as well oh, that's nice all right we've got some photo etch great didn't realize that um the basic no, these are really nice it's the uh, cockpit console in black and gray hmm, i'm gonna have to have a look at how i do this i've not actually done photo etch before you see so that's going to be a new one for me okay let's see what's in the bag we have got four sprues first one being the fuselage it's got a little bit of detail on there with panel lines that's quite nice and then we've got the underside of the wing the center console exhaust manifolds and the tailplanes yeah there we go and the third one we've got a tropical intake it's not actually featured on the box so that's obviously a little bonus we've got a couple of um, propeller cones the propeller oh and they the extended parts for these uh, clip wings so this has actually got clip wings or you can basically add those bits on oh, i like that bit and then we've got the tops of the wings the wheels the seats and a few other bits and bobs including a pito which i lost on one of my previous models Okay, so that about wraps it up, I think. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, I'm kind of enjoying engaging with people on YouTube, getting a lot of questions about things. Love to answer any if you've got any. So please like and subscribe and join me for my model building ride. Be seeing you.